Good morning. This is the news for Friday, February 16th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton, and we've got the news that matters most, a magnetic media production. Stop missing out on the selections and savings at Sam's Club on Leewood Highway. Nobody stocks more Sam's Club brands. Paper products to the roof. Cereal, best prices to the roof. Pet food, laundry, cleaning items, drinks and snacks, all stocked out, you guessed it, to the roof. Every day, Sam's Club has what you need at affordable prices. Stop in today, because if you're not shopping at Sam's Club, you're paying too much. The Turks and Caicos has $343 million cash in the bank. And according to the finance minister, the government is now ready to set aside $7 million to establish a mortgage corporation. The announcement came in the House of Assembly on Thursday as Deputy Premier E.J. Saunders presented a fourth budget supplementary appropriation bill. Benefits of the mortgage corporation, according to the DP, include competitive interest rates, lending support for government's affordable housing initiatives, initiatives, stabilizing the housing market with regular financing available. And this financing will be available not only for home construction, but for renovations, expansions and improvements. Big for the Ministry of Finance with the corporation is job creation and the enabling element where more islanders will now be able to participate, they say, in the housing market in order to build wealth. TCI police have made a new arrest, this one for the serious offense of murder. We have learned that Deron Fulford is being questioned in connection to murder and illegal drugs. The suspect was arrested on Valentine's Day, according to reports reaching Magnetic Media. It is less clear, however, to which killing the young man is linked. We are also learning that at least one of the three people in custody for the February 8th Grand Turk murder of Joaquin Mizek was released. Police have had two men, an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old, and they were also holding a 55-year-old woman. We understand that Grand Turk woman is now said to be out. The Department of Agriculture will be closed to the public today. Friday, February 16th, the Providentiales-based office will reopen as normal next week, Monday. The Magnet is out. It's our e-newspaper. Magnetic Media is your news leader. TCI Ministry of Health is now sharing warnings following a Saharan dust bulletin from February 9th. The ministry is reiterating CARFA's message about potential risk for people with asthma, allergies, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease especially. Six tips for us as the dust continues to flow westward over the islands of the region. Stay indoors, wear masks, use air purifiers, monitor air quality, and seek medical advice. You also want to get a doctor at the first sign of difficulty breathing. Allergy medicines are advisable for less severe symptoms. Almost two years after being arrested for stealing around $850 in groceries from their employer, two women, Dwana Fulford and Benika Garland, have finally been granted legal aid. The duo is charged with a joint count of acting together to obtain property by deception and theft of $847.47 from Smart Grocery Store. Both women are out on bail and are now represented by Senior Defense Counsel Ashwood Forbes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, MMTV Caribbean. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land, Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. Prevention is the first order of business in crime fighting, according to Rodney Adams, Deputy Commissioner of Police, and he believes music and sports intervention are key factors. I'm a believer that when it comes to uh, our young people, music and sports must be key. Because what it does, it forces discipline, dedication, and commitment. That's the DCP speaking during a student support services outreach along with the Ministry of Education and the TCI Christian Council at the Louise Garland Thomas High School. 
and weather for today and the weekend continues to mean cool conditions for the Turks and Caicos. Highs in the upper 70s, lower 80s, with nighttime getting to the mid 70s. Temperatures will drop slightly by Tuesday for even cooler conditions. That does it for the morning edition of the news. Thank you for joining us. We're back at midday with your TCI Top Stories.